When the President of the United States decides to travel, there is usually a huge entourage that goes along with him. The security detail alone is way more than the average person can fathom, but there is always a way to turn this financial fireball into a political nightmare. To be presidential requires a certain amount of pomp and circumstance. However, when it is the taxpayers who must foot the bill, then things can get a bit out of hand. Whether it is a Democrat or Republican that controls the government, the requirements remain the same, at least as far as security is concerned anyway. Because it is the Democrats who control the White House, the Republicans are using this opportunity to complain about all the battleground appearances that President Obama is taking at a huge cost to the taxpayer. I believe that we all have the right to lodge a complaint when we feel that we are not being treated fairly. But I am not sure that these instances require any response, especially since the previous president, George Bush, was also accused of disproportionately traveling to battleground states. We should realize that a comparison could be made on almost any of the presidents before the current and previous one. But it is the discretion of the president as to where he needs to travel at any given time. It could be said that our democratic leader is using his executive advantage to show his face in areas where he needs to. Then again, you may also think of that as good planning on his part.